What's up guys, today we're looking into homecoming prep and the Hoya block change. And we're also going to meet a new teacher in the school and the voting results of freshman council, so stay tuned. <laughs> How are you doing, Hoyas? I am Lauren Leach. And I'm Blake Baldwin. And, and you are watching, watching Hoya Vision Green Crew. Crew. So, Blake, you know Hoko is around the corner. Do you have a date? Nah, I don't. But I would love to see how they are preparing for it. This is one of my favorite times of the year in high school. But I am most looking forward to just having fun, having fun with everybody, and dancing, and just living it up. Um, this year we're preparing for homecoming with lots of work days. We have work days Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and then the week of the 26th we have work days every single day, and the September 2nd week, which is homecoming week, we have homecoming work days every single day as well. I think I'm mostly excited to see how the final look of it all come together because there's lots of different views that we have right now with all the painting and all the sketching and to see it all come together at the end I think that's what I'm most excited for. This year we're doing we're not doing class boards so instead of each class having a specific um, like topic or a specific uh, item we're doing it all together and we're doing the boards as the decorations instead of doing them down the hallway. That looks like it will be so much fun. Yeah, you should definitely consider going now. I mean, I guess. I might hang with the bros, though. Hashtag, Hashtag bros, bros before, before Hoko. Hoko. But speaking of new things, Blake, didn't you have something to tell the Hoyas? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Lauren. So, guys, there has been a recent Hoya block schedule. Instead of Wednesdays and Thursdays, we are actually going to go Tuesdays and Thursdays. No more going back to back. <laughs> so please don't show up Wednesday to Hoya block, guys. That would just be awkward. And we will be right back, Hoyas, after this break. And oh, Blake, aren't you running for freshman council? <laughs> nah, I'm a senior, but I would like to see who's on our freshman council. Okay, let's do it. What's going on, guys? My name's Lion Way, and I'm here to highlight the voting results you've all been waiting for for the freshman council. The fact that these kids want to represent their class and they're willing to run for that and put themselves out there, that's awesome. Kids that are voting clearly care about who is dictating things for their class. So I'm just excited for the fact that they're stepping into high school. Like they're taking the initiative to build who they are as people in the high school environment. So I'm really excited about that for them. I believe that it means a chance for me to grow in my leadership skills and also a chance to, to advance the class of 2023 and help them as much as I can. Well, I knew all the candidates already. They went to my, my middle school, Lost Mountain. And so I already knew that Marlo, the class president, she was in my language arts class. And she was a very strong leader. And she was in my group. She always had really good ideas and everything. And so that was great. And then Sophie Austin, she's the kindest person. And so I knew I was already going to vote for her because she would have such a positive personality and impact on our group. I want to be able to represent our class. like as a good representative and be able to give our students a say in the government of our school. It's really an honor like that our class voted for me because I mean it's like 500 people. Congratulations to those who have been elected and uh, this wraps up the voting results for the freshman council.
Wow, congratulations to our Hoyas, Daniel Hurley, the class secretary, and Marlo Bentley, class president. But speaking of exciting things, hey Lauren, have you talked to the new director? Oh my god, yes, Blake. I got to interview her and it was so amazing. So let's check this out. I love her. I think she's perfect for the job. I honestly really love Miss Lindsay. She's so kind and accepting and it, she's a really wonderful addition to like the theater group. I am so excited to be here. Um, this is a dream come true job for me. She knows how to make other people look good too and she's a team player. She's really open to everything that and especially she's not trying to make us change. She's kind of working with us and she has so many great ideas about what we're going to do. I think this year I really want to focus on getting to know the students and what they're already doing, what they've already learned. She wasn't talking at us, she was talking with us and trying to build relationships with us rather than just telling us what to do and what she's going to do. I think it's going to be amazing these next few years that I have with her. I really want the students to find a new home in these two new spaces and I really want them to just continue to develop that love of the art and craft of theater. I'm excited and I know Miss Lindsay is going to do an amazing job leading our ITS troupe. I think if they leave the end of this year feeling really proud of what we've accomplished, feeling like we've made quality artwork and had a really fun time doing it, um, then I'll be really happy. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a great year. Well, Hoyas, that's all I got for you today. I'm Lauren Lee. And I'm Blake Baldwin. Have a great week, guys. Hoya Vision Green Crew, signing off. <laughs>